Live from Las Vegas, Fox 5 News at 11 starts now. One of Laughlin's oldest casinos appears to be closing for good. Workers there facing indefinite layoffs. A Las Vegas CrossFit gym who said they will reopen despite the governor's orders is not backing down. I'll show you how they protested today. Department stores starting to reopen. We'll break down what you can expect the next time you go shopping. Gusty today. Some of that wind lasts through tomorrow, but the big story, that high temperature we expect for tomorrow afternoon. We'll show you how much different it was from today's 89. That's coming up. This is Fox 5 News at 11, local Las Vegas. Thank you for joining us for Fox 5 News at 11. I'm John Huck. And I'm Jacqueline Schultz in for Christine Medella. Here's the latest in the Valley. Station Casinos released new COVID-19 safety protocol. Boyd Gaming, which owns Aliante, Sam's Town, among others, also released new safety regulations to reopen safely. MGM Resort says they will offer free parking for all their properties when they are allowed to reopen. Ten more testing sites opened in Nevada today, five of them in the Valley. And also tonight, we learned Nye County recorded its first death from coronavirus. Department stores are slowly beginning to reopen in the Valley. Today, we visited Galleria Mall in Henderson, where Macy's, Kohl's, and Dick's Sporting Goods are all now back open. We walked through them, and while there are precautions in place, there's still the same amount of merchandise, and the shopping experience hasn't changed that much. You should, however, expect to see plexiglass barricades at the checkout counters. They also had signs promoting social distancing, markings on the floor near the checkout lines, and all the staff was wearing masks, some masks and gloves. Macy's and Kohl's also have store pickup options in place for people who don't feel comfortable going inside. Hundreds of employees at Laughlin's Colorado Bell Resort and Casino face indefinite layoffs. The resort's operator says there are no current plans to reopen the Colorado Bell. The move impacts 400 employees. Golden Entertainment says the economic severity of the pandemic plans prompted the decision. Fox 5's Tiana Bonner talked to some locals about what this means for the town. That's at 1130. The Clark County School District held a board meeting tonight to adopt a final budget. District officials expect a $37.8 million shortfall for next year's budget. Much of the budget comes from sales tax revenue, which has been impacted by the pandemic. We still have not received any final changes to uh, the 20.